That morning, I come to the house and I come into the kitchen and it's like, it's wet on the floor and there's like water literally spraying it's from behind the refrigerator. What am I going to do? Well, I think it's time for a renovation. We're going to do the floors. Yeah. We're going to do all new hardware, new cabinetry, the ceiling. Right, the lighting. The lighting is all going to be addressed. OK, so don't think I'm crazy. I know this is massive, but it is beautiful. The machinery itself is an incredible piece of machinery for cooking. And I know you love to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love to reheat. Do you think Mar's going to cook for me? I know, I, I know we have dinner together often, but if he cooks for me, I can give you a good, clear plan of action and also tell you a little bit where my inspiration came from. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Believe it or not, it came from this <laughs> fish. Jane Green is a local author, just like myself, and she is a bestseller. Her kitchen was published in one of the publications here in town, and I wanted to have a little tour for inspiration. The day has come for the cabinetry to arrive, and Mother Nature has given us a beautiful day as they now orchestrate the delivery of the cabinetry. This is where I can get a glimpse of what they look like. I've been waiting so patiently, and the time has come. I'm Mar Jennings, America's top lifestyle expert, known for my six casual luxury design principles. I call my world Life on Mars because it's a universe of cohesive design made simple and smart. I renovate and design homes from top to bottom, inside and out, and reveal how casual luxury is the cure for all design dilemmas. Real designs, real budgets, and real people. Out of this world makeovers right here in Connecticut. Cabinets look so great. I know, they're fantastic. The craftsmanship is just awesome. exactly what I expected. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, this is what I always wanted. Just look at the piece. It's Wait, furniture. Did you get that? Say it one more time. Go ahead. Say it again. <laughs> he got it. I got it. I can't remember. I got it. I'm all wired up. I've got it. So Adam and Chris start tomorrow, OK? The duo brother team. Right. They're going to have this thing, you know, up and running within a couple of days. So Ross can make you a template, maybe. Monday, what do you think, Stan? Monday's your template for countertops? Countertops? Probably, right? Today's only Tuesday. Okay. Here's your tag. Let, <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. It's all set. We'll take good care of it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you. That hurt. Bye-bye. <laughs> My kitchen's coming along just as I envisioned after that disastrous water leak. We've gutted the entire kitchen and they just dropped off all the cabinetry. So now we're in the home stretch. I'm also in the process of adding a bump out window seating area, installing shiplap for the ceiling, adding new lighting and appliances, a custom window for the farm sink area, and I've even decided to give the dining room a bit of a facelift by installing coffered ceilings. Man, I can't wait to show this new kitchen to my friends and neighbors. So I can't reveal the kitchen to myself. Here, Mar, here's your new kitchen. <gasps> oh my goodness, do you like it? Yes, I love it. Can't do that. So I thought, why don't I create a big white party event reveal to highlight it to my friends, family, and neighbors. By now you know me well. I love a good party. The idea of everyone coming dressed in white to see Mars' new kitchen is going to be a spectacular party and reveal. It's going to be a showstopper. So I'm not used to having such a big audience when I play ball, but I was up for the challenge. It's time for him now to like step up to the plate and like I suddenly got a little nervous for him. I threw the ball and I wanted to make sure that it actually went in the right direction. When getting out the door is a challenge, finding a new home can feel impossible. You need someone who really knows the market. It's time for Elliman. The thing about your first real job is that it means your first real apartment. And that means your first real party. You need someone who knows how you roll. It's time for Elliman.
Hey, Mar, catch. Hey, excellent. <laughs> All right, good reflexes. That's great. So uh, we've been working real hard. You've been so super busy, I thought you could use a little break. So you want to go uh, play catch? Yeah. Oh, I'm all right. kidding. When would I ever do that? No, no, no. <laughs> I got the opportunity for you, actually, in all seriousness, to go throw out the first pitch at a game. At the Bluefish game? At the Bluefish game up in Bridgeport. That would be fun. Yeah, the so question is, wait, wait a minute. It, it, there'll be people there, right? Oh, yeah. For, so, it's a real game. So talk about pressure, though. I think you'd be great at it. So you go with your gut. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to, let's throw some balls, because I'm, I'm going to need all right, to practice. All right, let's do it. I think we figured out as a team that a success component for all of these projects is that if we give Mar an opportunity to like have some mental R&R in the middle of it, because he always comes up with better ideas afterwards. It's just like a little mini break for him. Now, I've never seen him play baseball, but he is a sportsman. He can do anything he sets his mind to. So I knew it would be a fun thing, and for sure he wanted to do it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be at the game. I know Mar is going to get that ball right over the plate. I can have a wonderful experience no matter where you put me. That's our one. So, I'm not used to having such a big audience when I play ball, but I was up for the challenge, and I do have a good right arm. I was sweating bullets because I wanted to make sure that it was a strike and I did well and that it actually went over the plate. I haven't been throwing a ball in a long time. They introduced me, I came down. It's time for him now to like step up to the plate and like I suddenly got a little nervous for him because you know, we're not just doing this in the backyard somewhere. I, I, I'm sure he's gonna do it. I threw the ball and I wanted it to make sure that it actually went in the right direction. And it was a strike. My right arm did not fail me. I'm not gonna forget easily how when he came off the field, he had that look in his eye of, oh, like he was super energized. You could just see it in him. And I just knew that like, you know what? Living through that renovation was really kind of taking a toll and this like re-energized him and got him back on track. So it was a great thing to do that night. I've been in my house over 20 years, and now that I've had this water leak, I am freaking out about potential problems that might arise. My hot water tank was over 20 years old. They say the life of a water heater is 10 years old. So instead of it giving me another accident in my home, I'm going to be proactive. So replacing the hot water heater was really going to be not only an important function of the overall design of addressing water issues, but it's also going to give me the opportunity to clean up that utility closet. So this is another great opportunity to get something checked off of my wish list. And Sam Galt is the guy in the company to do it. So Sam, what a nice surprise to have you pop in. Thank you, it was great to see you. I was in the neighborhood and I wanted to come see the guys and see you. Well, they're fantastic. You know, we're happy that we're gonna get you a super efficient hot water heater in here. Bye. Take that old clunker out. I know, it's huge. I just say goodbye to it. I must say, because not only does this hot water on demand help me in reference to efficiency, uh, as well as space saving, but I'll never run out of hot water. You're never gonna run out of hot water. And the, the best part about what people love is the fact that you're gonna get it right away. And you're gonna save some money too, which is a great thing. That's the best part. Fifth generation in this business in Westport. It's a legacy that we've had in, in our community for five generations. You know, I've been following in the footsteps of my grandfather and my father, which has been fun, and I've, I've enjoyed every day. Which is and fun. I see you at right. the local charity events. Right. You're very philanthropic. You're very part of the community. And when the synonymous with Galt is service and the best. So of course, with my kitchen being completely out of commission, I'm always looking for my next meal. A Mies just opened in Westport downtown and they took the old firehouse and they renovated it to perfection. All right, Brad, so what are you gonna show me here? So I'm gonna make you a classic Roman pasta, which is cacio e pepe, which is spaghetti, black pepper, cheese, olive oil, a touch of butter, and that's it. And of course, I got to go meet the head chef and experience the entire preparation of my meal.
when the housing market is particularly challenging, when isn't it? Find the agent who can find the answers. <laughs> it's time for Alamin. When it's time for the next chapter, you want to find a buyer who will value your home as much as you did. It's time for Alamin. So of course, with my kitchen being completely out of commission, I'm always looking for my next meal. A Mies just opened in Westport downtown and they took the old firehouse and they renovated it to perfection. All right, Brad, so what are you gonna show me here? So I'm gonna make you a classic Roman pasta, which is cacio e pepe, which is spaghetti, black pepper, cheese, olive oil, a touch of butter, and that's it. And of course, I got to go meet the head chef and experience the entire preparation of my meal. We got a little black pepper. Start out with a little bit of pasta water. And that's for the flavor. Flavor, and it's also gonna allow you to adjust the sauce, a little bit of olive oil. And what makes this one of your favorites? The simplicity of it. So know? sometimes it's all about less is more. I like to take stuff off the plate rather than add stuff to it. Now, how so, long have you been cooking for? I got pots and pans when I was five years old for Christmas, which was very strange back then because <laughs> there wasn't too many five-year-old you know, kids wanting to cook because there was no food network then. The last thing we're gonna do is add some cheese. The aroma is really fantastic yeah. already. You make that look so easy. You think I could try that? Yeah, man, you got it, uh -oh. you got it. All right, here we go. Wait. <laughs> Getting there. That's why everybody stops. <laughs> I'm really starting to wonder, secretly hoping that Mar might make me dinner in his new kitchen. What do you think? <laughs> flick, flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. Uh -oh. Don't be scared. Just go for it. Just go that's for it. That's the extent of it. Right. That's, that's good. That's if good. I try anymore, it's going to end up over there. That's good. <laughs> I'll definitely jump in and cook. I do love a good kitchen. So of course, I was paying attention to the preparation and the recipe. Not that I would ever make it, but I know if I come back to Team Mar and say, hey, here's this fantastic recipe, why don't you give it a shot? Westport is really a great artistic community, but also a great design center as well. And there's so much going on. It's really going through this incredible renaissance right now in a way of rebuilding and revitalization. Uh, it's so much fun to watch that happen, to be part of it. All right, David, congratulations. What a huge success. As a Westporter, I've been here since I was one, and so I, I learned to play basketball in the YMCA. I learned to swim in the YMCA. And when I graduated Syracuse and started playing in, in real estate here, I realized what an important piece it would be. And uh, when they finally put it on the market, uh, I, I got a group, group of partners that understood how we could make this transformation and really transform downtown Westport. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you very sure. much, Mark. I appreciate that. Man. Anna! Hi, Ma! Hi, oh, thank cute. you for coming in! Mwah. Oh, Mwah. It's good oh, to see for you. coming in the back door, it's a little crazy. Thanks Come on in. Me. I also thought it would be nice for me to be surprised a little bit as well. So I brought in Anna, who is a stylist. She's been promoted and she's done multiple magazine spreads across the country, national spreads, and she has the expertise of actually doing design for print and media. So of course, she's the perfect person to come in. She knows my casual luxury philosophy and she is just spot on when it comes to design. So I thought she can take care of all the little finishes that will elevate the kitchen, not just for my reveal, but for everyone else as well. Have some coffee, make yourself comfortable, and I'm gonna disappear. Disappear, get out okay. of here.
The day has finally come where it's the big reveal for my friends, family, and neighbors. And I asked everyone to wear white. And yes, even those tough guys, they're gonna wear white, all white. It's going to be a fun day. And of course, Mother Nature is going to work with us and give us the light and the beauty that we need that will shine in the space and really illuminate the space better than you can ever imagine. All right, are we ready? On a count of three, you can all come in. One, two, three, come on in. Get to know the people at Galt, and you'll discover why You First has been our guiding principle for over 150 years. Our customer care team will make sure that we are always there for you day or night. Our bioheat and propane delivery teams and our highly trained installation and maintenance technicians will take good care of all your family's heating, cooling, and generator needs. Galt Energy and Home Solutions. You first since 1863. The day has finally come where it's the big reveal for my friends, family, and neighbors. And I asked everyone to wear white. And yes, even those tough guys, they're gonna wear white, all white. It's going to be a fun day. And of course, Mother Nature is going to work with us and give us the light and the beauty that we need that will shine in the space and really illuminate the space better than you can ever imagine. All right, so the kitchen is ready for the big reveal. Now, you want to take a moment and take a look at it before oh, everyone shows to. up? I'd love to. Okay, great. Go you take a look. look. Okay. So this is the big opportunity I have now to show my friends and family and neighbors my kitchen reveal. It's been a long process, but we're ready for the big day. My six casual luxury design principles totally transformed this new space. Whether inside or out, he's the guy. Six clever principles for you to try. Learn casual luxury and you'll agree. Life on Mars is the place to be. Represent Mother Nature. Embrace light and reflection. Natural materials and colors. Repeat shapes and patterns. Repurpose. Consider size and scale. And now it's time for the big reveal. I really love the new kitchen at Mars House. It's amazing. I already want to trade in my big country kitchen for something modern and chic. Oh my God, I love the glass of countertops. That's just because you can see yourself in it. Stop. <laughs> I think this kitchen is the biggest little kitchen I've ever seen. Great job, Mar. I moved out all of that stuff in the kitchen and it looks great now and I didn't have to move any of it back. I am so happy, it looks amazing. This kitchen is sensational. It is by far the most glamorous kitchen I have ever seen. Oh, I agree with you. I live in a small space and I've learned so many great ideas here. I want more to do my kitchen, but first I have to get a kitchen. I'll work on that. <laughs> I must say that everyone is thrilled with the overall design and the functionality of the kitchen. I am just so blessed that I can call this place home. And it's not just my home, it's a home for other people to learn and a place for other people to enjoy as well. Especially those chefs that will come in and cook in my kitchen. Let's face it, I'll have a couple of things in my repertoire, but for the most part, this kitchen is really about taking in the heart and the home of any home and giving you some wonderful ideas that you can apply in your space. Big or small, these are creative ideas that truly take a kitchen from one extreme to the next. I was truly able to experience this for myself and that was the best part. I don't have to close the door and walk away and go home because I'm already home.
Another great reveal. This was so much fun. They say you question a lot of the different design choices you make when you do your own renovation, and that's true, but today really validates that I've made all the right decisions. Casual luxury works for any style, for any home, and on any budget. And always remember to keep it casual. So the big day has come to show off our efforts and to really highlight Union House. Yes, it's beautiful. I have to ask though, how did you manage to get it all done? Hey Barbara, it's Mar. Hi Marley. How you doing? Good, what's going on? Well, I just want to give you an update on your kitchen. Are you sitting down? All right, so we've had a lot of different activity here in creating this brand new pool. And I must say that there's still a lot to be done. Woo! Progress! So it's kind of amazing to have this like incredible machine really for cooking in the kitchen. Um, and so I'm thinking like, what could I make for lunch that would involve using all of those dials and buttons? There's gotta be a way. I love to cook and Mar loves to eat my cooking. The food was so delicious and I got another meal, checked off my meal plan. Can I get a glass of wine? Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is brought to you by Douglas Elliman Real Estate. It's time for Elliman.